30 lakh is that a roadmap let's try to understand what all things you need to learn obviously the first thing that you need to be good is going to be with your programming language and over here we will still focus on java now over here guys you have to be good with basic concepts this is non-negotiable the next thing that is very important guys is going to be design patterns all right everyone knows that okay java is an object oriented programming language but how do you implement object oriented concepts efficiently in your project the answer is design pattern what are the different design patterns you have used in your project if you're just going to talk about your page object interview ends over there you should be aware of fluent builder factory singleton utility then guys focus on collection and map topic a lot of interview questions as well as your coding round is definitely going to involve on collections and maps. The next thing, focus on build tool. When you're creating a framework, Maven is definitely going to come into picture. Maven is more than a dependency management tool. You will be using the various life cycles as well as plugins. So you should be aware of that. Next, focus on API more than UI. I've already created a five hours masterclass where I'm building a complete API automation framework. Do that. Put that stuff in your resume. So learn about rest assured and postman. Postman is pretty simple and also focus on UI. That is really important. You really can't skip that part. So you should be aware of Selenium web driver and play right. This thing is definitely going to help you with 15 to 20 lakhs. But if you want to get that 30 lakhs job, Please be good with your DevOps tools also. Okay, learn to use AWS, Jenkins, GitHub Actions, your GitLab Runner, Docker, as well as Git. Don't watch tutorial. Build project. All right. This is definitely going to help you out.